logically you group all of the similar videos under the one channel. You've got the ability to brand the channel. You can see some branding in the background, my logo and so forth. Um, colors and so forth, all of the videos, the opening video, favorites, information about myself, importantly, uh, a link back to my website there, because the idea is if you pull people in through YouTube, pull them in through your channel, ultimately you want them to go to your website, go to your website, pick up the telephone and make an order. That's what it's all about. So somebody has gone to Google and typed in digital marketing tips and do, Google has served my video on page one of the results and somebody has watched that video. So I can see here that the numbers aren't large, but I'm starting to get some traction for my effort. My content set, my marketing communication is being found through all these different ways and it's being syndicated and shared around the web and I can actually track that and measure it very precisely. So if you're going to use video for marketing purposes, there's always an investment, whether it's financial or not, maybe it's an investment of time, but we've got to demonstrate the return on that investment. And these are the sorts of numbers, and this is the sort of information that you'll be able to sit down and analyze and make a determination as to whether you've got a positive or a negative return on that investment. So YouTube also has the facility for that uh, text you've uploaded to be translated into uh, any one of 35 languages. So if somebody in Russia is viewing your video, your subtitles will be translated into Russian. So you've, you've got a, a, a video that you've created in Melbourne, Australia in English, and you've got potential, a global audience of people who can interact and understand that, that video. Um, some engineer is filming, deconstructing a water plant so that the next engineer knows what he's supposed to do if that guy falls off the scene or whatever and they're not sending the DVD out or trying to email the movie file, they're uploading it onto YouTube, making it private, giving the guy in the Perth office the login details, and he or she is just watching it in their own time. There's a lot of potential for that sort of thing. It's, it's the Gen Ys that are coming into positions of authority within workplaces, and they'll drive it. They, they just won't accept that you say, uh, social media, I've heard of it, but I'm sure it's not important to us. They'll say, you, you're nuts. What are we gonna do about it? You know, I've got a sales force that 90% of them are on Facebook and that's the way they communicate with everybody. And you're saying we can't have Facebook in the workplace because it's a waste of time? It's like taking the telephone away from them. Imagine if someone took the telephone away from you at work and said you can't use it. That's how they feel. And what Google has done, Google has set out to categorize and organize the world's information. Okay, they've done a fairly good job of, of doing it with websites, and that's the search engine that you use, but they're doing it with books, with the stars, with streets, street view, uh, and so forth, um, patents, uh, news, you name it, they're, they're categorizing it and organizing it. But in this context, they've provided a map layer, and they've identified where all the businesses are, they've pulled information off uh, yellow.com.au about business locations, basic information about their street address and um, and uh, telephone number and so forth, but then they've invited you as business owners, people that have physical points of presence out there, to put as much information into your little bubble as you want. And the idea is if the whole community, the business community, comes together and takes ownership over their own little patch of, of uh, garden, then the whole thing becomes this really rich experience for people that are searching through the platform. You can come up with your own personal solutions for whatever uh, task, objective you're, you're setting out to uh, uh, complete or achieve. Um, it's, it's really, really uh, exciting. And there is a technical side to this, obviously, but the creative stuff that, that now kicks in, your ability to pull the stuff together and present a picture, a communication, a marketing communication message is, I, I think, profound, quite profound.